Uh, hi there. Um, today we are looking at uh, HSC Mathematics 2019, question 16, part B. A particle moves in a straight line starting at the origin. Its velocity v meters per second is given by v equal to e to the power of cos t minus 1, where t is in second. The diagram shows the graph of the velocity again is time. This is the graph they are given for velocity versus time. Using one application of Simpson's rule, estimate the position of the particle when it first comes to rest. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. All right, um, for this question, um, they have uh, they've been given the velocity and we need to find the uh, displacement. We know that um, displacement is equal to area under the velocity curve or the integral of velocity versus time. Um, here we can see that um, the particle comes to rest at that point. So what we are trying to do is from the time zero until it comes to rest which is this time, um, what distance it has covered. So, as I said, we need to find this uh, area. And that is the distance that it has moved away from its uh, original position. Um, so, to use that, we got to use basically V, the fund, uh, sorry, displacement X is equal to integral of v dt and if I call this time uh, this is 0 and if I call this time t1 so 0 to t1 but v is given by that um, expression e to the cos t minus 1 dt 0 to t1 but the problem is um, evaluating that integral will not be that easy um, at the level of um, mathematics. And so that's why they have asked us to use the Simpson's rule to find um, an approximation for this. Um, First of all, we need to know what this T1 is. Um, using the expression for velocity, which is V is equal to E to the cos T minus 1, I let velocity be 0 and I try to find out the time. So that means uh, I take 1 to the other side, 1 is equal to E to the cos T. And since any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so cos t must be 0. And from here, we know that t must be pi on 2. So this time t1 is pi on 2. Okay, with that in mind, so that uh, changes to x equal to 0 to P, um, pi on 2 um, e to the cos t minus 1 dt. Um, using the Simpson's rule with one application, we need uh, three x values, um, or in this, in this case, time values, and uh, then uh, we're going to find x. So time is uh, zero. Uh, they already told us that um, 
x will be 0. Um, sorry, I'm not uh, doing that. I am uh, finding actually this integral. So e to the cos t minus 1. I'm working off this integral. Okay, uh, so that will be my function to use in the Simpson tool. So uh, time is zero, and uh, when time is zero, if you put uh, zero for time, you get t uh, equal to zero, and e becomes e to the cos of zero minus one, and cos of zero is um, one, so that becomes e to the one minus one, and e to the one is just e minus one. So when time is zero, my function is um, e minus one. E minus one. Now, um, at the end of this, um, the last value that I have for um, t, um, and we find it to be pi on two. And the third value will be uh, halfway between these two, which is pi on four. Alright, all I need to do now is to solve in this value in my function and get the values. Uh, when t is pi on 4, um, then I have e, my function is e to the power of cos pi on 4 minus 1. That is e to the power of cos pi on 4 is 102 minus 1. So that gives me e to the power of 102 minus 1. And if I sub in uh, t is equal to pi on 2, my function value, my function's value becomes e to the power of cos pi on 2 minus 1. And uh, that becomes e to the power of uh, cos pi on 2 is uh, 0 minus 1. And that becomes 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And we already know that when it was pi on 2, it was 0. Um, the um, value of v, which is e to the cos t minus 1, is 0. Okay, uh, now we got all these uh, values. Uh, we can use the Simpson's rule to work out this integral. Uh, if you remember the Simpson's rule, um, it tells us um, the value of, um, if I just show an area, approximately is equal to um, integral um, the value of um, h on 3 times by f of x0 plus 4 times f of x1 plus f of x2. So this is the initial value of the function, this is the middle one, and this is the last one. And h is the difference between the x, or in this case, t values. The difference between them is pi on 4 and another pi on 4. So h is pi on 4. And so now my area or displacement will be approximately equal to h, which is pi on 4, divided by 3 f of x0 is this value, e minus 1 plus 4 times the function value in the middle, 4 times e to the 1 root 2 minus 1, plus f of x0, which is 0. That becomes pi on 12, e minus 1, plus 4, if I expand this, e to the 1 root 2 minus 4, and the 0 has no effect. So results in pi on 12, e uh, minus 4 minus um, 1 is minus 5, plus 4 times e to the power of 1 on root 2. And if we solve that in the calculator, that will give us the value, and they want it to two decimal places. So pi on 12 times by e to the 1, or just e, minus 5 plus 4 times 
t to the power of 1 over root 2. So based on my calculations, it is 1.53 So pi on 12 times by t minus 5 plus 4 times t to the power of 1 on root 2 Yes, that is value we expect to get. Okay, that is um, the answer to um, part B of uh, question 16, 2019. Uh, thank you very much for watching.